So today we'll be reviewing the uh, Nikon 60 millimeter macro lens uh, that is used for up close uh, photography. Kind of going through the uh, reviews of it. This is a phenomenal lens, has a lot of unique uses. And uh, I'll show you a side by side comparison of what the photos look like and also uh, what the live video test looks like. Comes with the end cap right here uh, and then also your standard Nikon lens cover. Uh, it does have the option to switch between manual and autofocus uh, on the lens itself. It does have the uh, external aperture ring. This is an end lens with a uh, ED glass as well. Uh, so if you like to look at the aperture and so forth from an external view, you've got that option as well. Main uses I get out of this lens are for you know up close photography and uh, oh also it does come with a lens cap right here I mean a lens hood uh, which is good for uh, getting rid of the sunlight and so forth uh, especially if you're using up close macro photography on like flowers or you know if you're trying to document uh, personal items like wedding rings. Here's a side comparison of the length of it with uh, just a ballpoint pen. It's not very uh, lengthy lens. The hood is actually pretty um, pretty long. Uh, I was quite surprised on the length of it. Um, but standard lens hood. Interesting is when you look at the uh, diameter of the opening of the lens uh, on the external side, it's actually not that big. Uh, hence the macro. Uh, physical design. In fact, here's a uh, golf ball I use as a comparison to it. Um, so it's about, uh, I'd say a little bit smaller than a golf ball, but not too close from it. So right now I'm going to do an autofocus test on a golf ball. And you can see, uh, well, I actually have a photo as well I'll use so you can see it from a, a zoom in standpoint. But uh, the field plane of focus is so specific. Uh, as you can tell, it'll focus on the tailor-made itself, uh, the wording, and actually on the uh, towards the end of the video, you'll actually see a photo of it when I zoom in. You'll actually see the letters are even sharper than the exterior letters. And if I ex you know move it over here and try to well, let me adjust the focus real quick. So when I adjust the focus right here, you'll be able to see how uh, it alters the plane of view or how it alters the field of focus and how finite of a field it is. I'm going to grab this pen and show you as I move it up and down, you'll see it come into focus and it will eventually leave being focused as well. When I focus on the pen, you can tell how the golf ball in the back kind of fades out a little bit. Again, this lens is so pin sharp with different uh, distances. Uh, it can give you some really cool images. And you'll see as I can slide this in and out of the uh, field of focus, it is very, very sensitive. So this image is I took of the golf ball at the same distance where that pin was uh, in the center. And I've got a couple different shots here. One is just the uh, how it is standard before I uh, zoomed in and cropped. And you can see how it's the uh, actual little uh, indents on the golf ball are, you know, super in focus around the words and they start to fade out as uh, the golf ball uh, kind of rotates. Now, in the next image, you'll be able to see when I zoom in how close the letters are in focus uh, and, and the detail from even the ink that comes from the golf ball. This lens overall is one of the coolest lens in the amount of... Uh, lenses that I own. Uh, it is very specific. I don't find myself using it as much as I thought I would. However, though, uh, when it does come to photographing up close objects, or if you're really wanting to get a very, very defined field of focus, uh, this lens will let you accomplish that. I have had some people ask if I can use it for just, you know, everyday photography. You can, um, obviously think you know, got to take into consideration the size of the glass on the exterior of it. Uh, with the amount of light and so forth, but this lens is probably one of the, like I said, one of the coolest lenses that you can have when it comes to uh, taking some real cool artsy type photos. Again, if there's anything else you want to review or any questions about what's in my camera bag and what I use on a daily basis, feel free to subscribe or comment below. Thanks again.